scientists are taking the idea of 3D computer printing and catapulting it into the realms of something more suited to science fiction. The idea of printing a human heart, liver or kidney is becoming closer to reality every day. Several teams of researchers around the world are working on the process and one company in California has taken on the challenge of using 3D printing technology to create human tissue. Organovo is based in the south of the state, in San Diego. This highly specialized company is based 30 kilometers or so out of town. Here they work with one of the world's first bioprinters. The Novogen MMX is capable of reproducing human tissue in three dimensions. The idea is ultimately to print entire organs that can be transplanted. What it does is it prints uh, materials from two deposition heads, uh, cells from one side and gel from the other with plus or minus 20 microns precision. So you print cells and the cells join together in three dimensions to make one piece of tissue. Behind this glass in sterile conditions, 30 engineers and biologists work on improving every aspect of the technique. What she's doing is actually counting the cells. So she's seeing if we have enough cells to start making what we call our bio ink. The ink is made from stem cells that have been grown on fatty tissue or bone marrow. They're further cultured in flasks because the process needs several million of them to create just one millimeter of tissue. We're going to make this structure right now, and the end of it will look like a cube. They print cells and a fixing gel layer by layer together to form a shape that's controlled by computer. After that, nature takes over and the cells organize themselves into living tissue. In the lab, they can print fragments of heart and lung tissue and blood vessels, but creating an entire organ is still some way off. If you don't have the ability to create blood vessels inside the system, you're limited in how thick those can be. So our real limit right now is making things you know, smaller than a millimeter, and at, over time, as we can print blood vessel networks into larger structures, then we can think about making larger tissues. The big advantage of this type of treatment is that the risk of rejection would be eliminated because the original cells would come from the patient. We want these cells to act and behave much like you would see in human live specimens. And in the end, it's hoped this technology could ease the shortage of donor organs. It is very hard to know how many years it might take. Obviously, there's a lot of research and work that have to be done. Obviously, there's equal amounts of uh, experimentation, clinical study, things like this do take time. Right now it's the pharmaceutical industry which is the biggest consumer of this new technology using printed samples to test new drugs and treatments. Whether or not it will really be able to reduce the number of people dying for a lack of donor organs isn't known. For the moment this cutting-edge technology is still very futuristic.